Okay, now that we've got our grid down on the paper, we can start drawing in um, all the things on the ground. So, just putting the base plan in, uh, in this 3D drawing. Um, okay, I'm going to start with the, the trickiest bit of all of them, um, which are these two pillars. So these pillars are concrete block pillars, the same pillars as in the house. Um, and they are 400 by 200. I uh, need to first of all find out where they are. So this, uh, can you see this is the, this window here. So if we go one, two, three and then one two three the pillars are going to be in this yes the pillars are going to be here okay so here right yeah no should be here okay no they are here somewhere let me just double check again so this is oh yes five one two three four five one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so they are here. Not here. Okay, so I've already almost got them, I think, in the kind of the right place, but let's just find out where the middle of this square is by putting a cross in. Actually, there is already a cross there. So this is the middle, follow that back there, this is the middle, um, and these squares are 1.8 by 1.8 meters, so half of this is 90, uh, I mean 900 mil, and these bricks are 400, so they would be just a little bit less than half, so say if this is half, then brick pillar will come to about there. And that is exact enough. Okay, that one, um, is that one already all right? Yeah, I'm happy with that. Um, so they're 400 by 200. Now again, I'm just gonna go with kind of half of that is here. So about there, to go back to the vanishing point for both of them. Okay. And there you've got where the pillars are going to go. Okay, now before we do too much else, I think I want to um, draw the rest of the things in here. Um, so I've got the pillars, then we're going to have a hedge, this hedge here going all the way around there. So let's do that next. So the hedge is the same width as the pillar goes here and then when we go around the corner here I I like to just um, just guess how big how big it should be going this way now we can do that by making a square looking at this square here the square is quite flat so if we make this square kind of the equal, equal flatness Maybe it's a little bit less. Good 
Doesn't look like a square eye. Right? There. Okay. And then we're going back around. Two. Oh no, just one. And then I think it's right in the middle where it ends up. I'm just going to put a little middle mark in here and I don't know what the middle is on the bottom one here so I think my uh, hatch goes to that point. So it goes back there. I'll just make it go back. Already. And it goes to that point. Um, here it's quite a distortion as well. Because this, the closer you get to like a corner, the more distorted your squares are going to be, the squares in your grid. Um, so let's just say that between this this line and this line is 900. We know that it is because we we put a a line through half the square, so that's 900. Um, we want this to be 400, so it's actually about there. It seems very wide to me, but we are closer to the front, so I think it is correct. And we can have the footprint of the hedge. No, I think I don't think it looks right. I'm gonna make it smaller. I don't think it's gonna impact anything if I make it smaller, so I think it'll just look better. Okay. I'm happy with this. That looks better. That looks like it's the same width all the way around. I um, actually didn't draw it far enough because it goes back past here. That's where the edge has to go. So if you're not sure about that, the end bit there, you can again make a little square. That looks like a square to me. So there you go, that's the footprint of our little hedge. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm happy with that. There's also a mowing strip going all the way around. Um, we can't see most of that behind this hedge, so I'll just draw the front of it. Um, and it goes, it actually goes off the drawing. Yeah, well, we won't be able to see much of it, but we can see a bit. So this draw, how do we know how wide this mowing strip is? Uh, looks about the same as a concrete block, a little bit less, so, so uh, about the same as a concrete block, but a little bit less, so let's make it there. I just want it to be look the same width all the way around. So that looks good. And okay. Oh, wait a minute, I'm putting it in the wrong place. Don't do what I just did. This is not where it goes. 
There's a garden here with a tree in it. So it actually continues this way. Okay, talking about the tree, let's place the tree. Um, so the tree is somewhere close to the... Okay, I need to put a grid on this tree. I mean on this... Oh yeah, so it's just... It's hard to see the, it's hard to see the grid. But this is the grid we're talking about, the, the square. So it's about here. Yeah. Okay. Um, flowering cherry tree. So it comes out to, looking at this um, the canopy, it comes out all the way to here. So I draw that up from there. It comes out all the way there. So it's gonna, I don't want this to block out much of the house because we want to see a lot of the house. The canopy will be somewhere here. We're just gonna draw that quite loose. It might be a nice thing to have in the foreground. So the stem of the tree will be here somewhere. Anyway, we weren't gonna do that yet. I was gonna just do the, the ground first. So sorry about that, but now you kind of get an idea of what that will be like. Um, then we have, in between these two pillars here is the path. It goes all the way here. That's nice and easy. I did try to make it easy, but even though I usually try to make it easy, it turns out much harder than I planned. Um, okay, so that just goes there. And that line goes there. Yeah, pretty easy. Okay, and then there's another path. This one, and this path follows the grid perfectly, because the grid is from there to there. So that is this path is here. Nice and easy. What is this line? Oh. Brushing things is not a good idea. There. Don't know what these double lines are here. Oh, there you go. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we also have a fence. And I see that we still need the other line of the mowing strip. And then past here is a timber fence matching the house, house cladding. We don't have to worry about that yet. And it doesn't have a height, but it's going to be the same height as the concrete block pillar. And it's not as deep, so it's about half half as deep. Okay, so we can draw that. But where does it actually stop here? It stops here. It turns back into the house. So we're going to take that point, take it to the finishing line, and the fence will be there and on the other side of the path going right into the house. I'll draw a nice double line. There you go. Mm -hmm. Okay, the mowing strip continues past that point. The fence doesn't. And the path goes to there. See here? This thing here 
is this, this, this concrete block pillar, although it looks like a different size. That looks kind of odd, like there isn't enough space. It's, a very, it's quite a narrow path. There you go. Okay. Okay. Almost, almost ready. There's another garden here, which is very easy um, to draw because this whatever that is, screen or I'm not sure. Let's take this let's take these lines down to the ground first because we're using where it hits the ground as a as a guide. So there and there and they are mowing strips that are on the inside. Then our nickel palm is right in the middle. Uh, if you're not sure how to get the middle, you okay. Bit of technical difficulty, but we can start up again. So we left off of uh, doing this nickel palm here. Um, so we know that's in this garden. It's right in the middle. And so again, to get the middle, we are gonna put a cross right through. And then we get the middle point. All right, so that's where that is. Uh, next, we have to um, make this uh, hedge and the tree in the middle. Okay, so the hedge is lined up exactly with the house on this side. And on this side, it doesn't line up with anything, but we know that the, the gap between the path and the hedge is the same as between the path and this mowing strip. Uh, so let's do the mowing strip first. So we know that the mowing strip lines up with this wall here that pokes out. So I'm going to start with that one. With the bottom of where the house is. Okay. And that goes all the way to the path right there. So and it's just as wide as the wall of the house. So we can go like that, and there is our mowing strip, um, and then the hedge starts here. So okay, I'm going to do the footprint of the hedge. We already have this line here, that's the front. Um, to get the back, I am going to draw a little square here. So that to me looks like a square and how do I know how big to do it? I thought of a way before. Um, just trying to figure it out. I had no trouble figuring this out last time but now I'm a little bit stuck. I think what we're going to do is we go by how many of these hedges would fit in one of these squares. So this hedge is this wide. If I draw another one and another one, so four of them would fit. And another way to do it is to just measure it. So it's half a meter. So yeah, it's exactly the half of a half of this of this square. So the square goes from here to here. Um, so we can easily see what half is, and half of that is about here, so I had it right. Okay, I hope that will make sense. Um, okay, so we've got this ground square, now if we build this up a little bit, we can also see how high it should be. Okay, so now I've got that, oh, we're not even doing that, but we're not doing the heights yet, but at least we've got the width, the ground 
kind of um, what do we call this? The gr just the ground, yeah. And we can go that way, and that goes all the way to the house line. Um, so the back of the hedges lines up with the front of the house here. And then, so to get this corner right here, so it's just, it's kind of hard to see where this mowing strip is. Just make that a little bit darker. Mowing strip is there. And what we want here again is to get about a four, um, a quarter of this square. So about there is where the hedge will be. And then that goes there. Um, the back of the hedge is exactly where the house is. And again, go with where the house completely touches the ground. That is where your hedge would be. And then I'm just gonna go with something that will make this little square here that, that starts to appear with your ruler. Make that so that you're happy that that's a square and go back. And there you go, this is our, oh, a little bit further, that's the footprint of our hedge. Except that I just realized I, did, I made a mistake. Because I did not leave space between the hedge and the mow strip. So I'm going to redo that bit. This will happen. All part of learning. Okay, so we've got this area here. That's the gap between the hedge, between the hedge and the path. And we need to make that gap the same all the way around. So again, what we can do is we look at what would approximately be a square. And I like that a little bit more, maybe. Oh, I slipped. So, there. Press it back. Okay. Hedges are the trickiest things to do, I think. Okay, so there we're gonna try to keep going back to the vanishing point. I sometimes forget and then things get kind of distorted. Okay, almost done. Okay. happy with that um, and looking at this the tree is right in the middle of, of our grid so we know that location and I think that is it oh we have not drawn drawn the mowing strip still have to do that so we've got the hedge footprint and we just need to put the mowing strip footprint in front so the mowing strip is about half the width of the hedge, but a little bit less. So say if we got the same, half it, and then a little bit less, that's where it is. And that's, to me, exact enough. A little bigger ruler. How about we decide on this line here? There. Oh, it slipped away. I'm leaving this all in the video so that you can see that everyone makes mistakes. Oh. Continues to there. Now here again, I'll always just do the same thing. Uh, actually, I was going to do the same thing and just make try and make a square, but it's quite distorted here. 
So what we can do is look at the hedge and then go with a little bit less than half that which is there. And look, this mushroom gets very, very narrow towards the towards the end there. And then it goes back in. Very narrow. There. There you go. This is our footprint. Okay. Okay, there's only a few things left to do. Uh, let's start with the tree in front here. So we have the footprint of the tree right there. And um, so we want to draw this tree, a white flowering cherry. We want to draw it about as high as it is wide. That's what they generally are. So if we look at the canopy, it comes over all the way to the path. And so that makes the tree, you can't see in this picture, but it makes the tree quite big. So, um, so let's just draw the stem of it. It goes about there. And then the canopy comes out to here. So I want to still see a bit of the house, but we want to make it a little bit playful. There you go. Um, and we are going to improve on this drawing uh, in your next drawing when you do it in pencil, in pen. Okay, so there's your canopy. Uh, the other tree that we still need to do is, oh, no, we still need to do the hedge over here. Um, sure, you guys are a bit sick of hedges by now. Uh, the more you practice them, the easier it will get, though. Um, okay, so I'm going to bring this up. Just bring all the corners up, actually. If we draw up all the corners, you can already see, see it a little bit in 3D. This doesn't seem right. Oh, there. This corner. There. And we've got that one. Still make sure that you're parallel. I mean, you are a 90 degree angle with the horizon line. Um, okay. Ah, this is where, it, where it's wrong. This line is wrong. It is. That line there. Uh, what is going on there? This line goes to the floor, the line goes to the front. Okay, I just need to carry on this line here. So that means this one is there, this one is there. Okay, alright, so let's make a square here because this hedge is 500 wide and 500 high. Um, okay, so if we have this square here, then we know should know all the other lines in this drawing, in this hedge drawing. Okay, just quickly go around. I think you guys, most of you will have the hang of this by now. Just making our way around. Beauty if you have drawn up all the lines, um, all the lines that go up, then this is quite a quick process. So this, there you go. That is the outside of our hedge. Um, we still need the inside. I've got this line here. We've got this one here. We've got this one and we've got that one. Um, so we can go through this point to get the height, uh, to get the place where it, see where this intersects here. There we go, go that way. And this is where it intersects with this point. And it goes around to 
there, right intersects with that point. And we are back to start again. Okay, great. Now I'm gonna draw this again. I'm gonna draw um, some of the graphics on it, just so it's a little bit less confusing. It's so hard to see what's actually going on with all these lines. Great. Okay. And then our tree is over here. And what is this? It's a magnolia little gem. Magnolias are... Oh, the canopy comes to just past... Just pass here. Um, yeah, and the other thing is that they are kind of, they have a shape like this. We won't be able to see the top. Um, should be coming out a little bit more. Actually, it was way too big, this tree. I think I drew the canopy too wide on the... Let's see what it is. Oh, I have four and a half. Yeah, it should be about right. And they do get higher than, than most people think. So, that's it. That's the bottom that we see. So, a lot, quite a lot of the house is going to be missing. In the drawing. That's okay, we'll make it look real. Um, and the, oh, the, our nickel town. So that's here. And let's draw it like a vase on top. We can do a lot better than this once we um, draw, draw it in pen. Um, and then our pads, we already have the pads, we can make them a little bit more clear though. Um, this one goes to here. Oh, I just need to show you what's happening here. Puppy has woken up. Hey, this has got nothing to do with landscape design. Okay, just got a few more things to do. Um, so the path, I can't really see it that well at the moment. Oh, you can see it quite well when you lift it up. So there's not actually that much more to do. But we have still got this, um, the door. Because on this perspective, there is no door. There's windows here. So let's just change them to doors. So that's pretty easy, just go to the ground and I guess there are still some lines that go right to the ground. And then there is a little concrete pad that goes to the path. Okay. Um, that's about it. Yes, so when you are going to do your um, your final version with ink, you place it over the top again and then you can um, do the graphics of the house and the plants. Oh, I would also actually do the plants a little bit. So it doesn't actually say here what kind of plants they are, so you can you can uh, decide yourself whether they're going to be strappy. If they, if you are doing something strappy, start in the foreground. 
it, it might help you with the with the inking because what I see a lot happening a lot is that people start inking everything without realizing there's actually something that goes in front so this will prevent that hopefully so when you come to inking it you're going to start in front here and ink in those those plants however you want them these here are Daiti so they're also going to be strappy and because they're quite far away you don't need to see a lot of detail so this is how I do them maybe a little bit taller actually and then just to show that they have flowers I just do some circles that then you can color in white later on um, on this Nikopa Oh, it says Pittosporum golf balls are under here, so, sorry, Pittosporum golf balls, so they're just, just to start in front, I guess there's just going to be four balls in here, one, two, three, four, and this is going to help you when you do your inking again. Um, See if I did this path. Mm, yes. Uh, this concrete this goes right there. Okay. And we are done, I think. Oh, there's little little ground covers in front here. Zephyrinthes. Okay. So. They go all the way around there. And they go in front of this. Hopefully I'm going to have time to actually draw this in ink. So you guys have an example. But might not get around to that. Something is wrong with this line line of the mowing strip. Okay. It seems to get much too wide. Okay, and then the Zephyrinthes go in there again as well. And they I presume that they carry on there to in this little garden. Okay, let's check this again. Let's draw the bottom of that door. Okay, so this is all we need for our inking. Um, one more tip when you're inking, um, I would also do put in these trees, just to outline, just really, really lightly so that you have a background of the drawing. If, if all of it becomes sky, it's going to look really, um, really bare. And this also makes the client, um, oh, actually you can't see this one because that's behind the new tree which will be here, the foliage, this the other tree, um, and we'll have to research how to draw a Nikau a little bit better because I'm not really a fan of how I did that, but the shapes are all good. Um, one thing I want to show you actually is when I first drew this. So what's happening here is this is becoming quite sharp and distorted um, and that just that's because we're close to the edge. So I did a previous one before that I'm a little bit happier with. Um, yeah, but this one is actually not correct. This one is correct. This one here I kind of fudged it a little bit to make it better. But I wanted to show you the right way to do it even though it looks worse. Okay, hope you enjoyed this.